Hey guys, Will, just time prepping. Okay, we're going to start the holster, and what's going to happen is, as you can see, I've cut out the thing for the holster. This is actually the holster. And what I'm going to show you is a pattern that I had laying around from when I did the holster for my uh, car, if you re remember that. So I'm going to use the same pattern to line up the holes to be laced with this pattern here and then when I get that done then we'll be able to take the strap and this is an inch and a half long so what I'm gonna do is cut it exactly in half which will make it to be instead of an inch and a half we'll make it to be about three quarters of an inch wide then I'll have just twice as much uh, of this as I need and we're going to use that for the straps that go over the, my shoulders and then that will hold also hold the pistol in place so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use this tool here right here to uh, mark the holes in the leather and then uh, we'll uh, take the paper off we'll be able to uh, punch them. I think I'm going to drill them. It's a little faster. <laughs> a little cheat trick that we learned. So, uh, I will be right back, okay? So, just hold on. Okay, uh, okay, I'm going to turn you around here so you can see what I'm doing and put you down. So, hold on a second. We're, what we're doing is punching the holes. We're marking the holes, not punching them, just marking them for where they're going to be punched at. this does is mark where the holes are going to be punched at so that they're a uniform distance apart and you're not going to you uh, get too close to the edge And then this will be the last one for this side. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around and do the other side as well. So you go down to where the dot is because that will be the last hole. And you're just marking them is what we're doing. It's just so all the holes line up for the stitching. And you want to make sure you line the pattern up that you're using with the length of the barrel that your gun is. One more. Then we'll be able to take that pattern off. And it should have the holes marked. I'm going to peek in there for I do. Yeah, you can see they are marked. So then you just take the tape. There.
Voila. So keep this from sticking anywhere. You just kind of fold it over and use it again. It's just a pattern. So you want to make sure you don't lose the pattern. Set it off to the side. And then I will show you here what it looks like. Okay. Now, I should have marked the darn thing before I did that. I got ahead of myself, but we can still do that. Because we're going to have to cut the leather. Make sure you line all the holes up the way they were when you punched them. Something like that. You just take a pencil, mark a little leather. And then that's where you'll cut it off, the leather that is, for the length of your barrel. Pretty tough stuff, huh? Something like that. Because I had tape on there, I have a couple of bare spots, but I can connect the dots. And just do this here. that and over here like uh, try to find it blind Looks like right there I may have to put that pattern back up there I got it. Where's the holes? Find your holes. Line them up. I don't like that. This didn't get marked very good. Yeah, that did. And you just, I did a pretty good job. Then that's where you'll cut the leather again to make the size of the holster. So it goes something like this here. See if I can hold that up there for you guys because we'll be stitching it after we tool it. So that's where we're at. Next thing we're going to do is cut this. We'll be back for that, okay? Hold on. Okay, so I'm cutting the bottom off. And you can't see me, but you don't need to. I am just cutting the leather off. You gotta go very slow so you don't go off your line. Because if you do, you're totally messed up. And we know we cut that line for a reason. And So you got to be very, very careful. Every time you make a score on there, it goes a little bit deeper, so... You just be careful what you're doing. There's different razor knives you can buy. This one is 
not really the best kind to get, but you have to be very, very careful with it. As you can see. Very, very careful that you cut on your line. If you're a person that is in a hurry to do everything, this is probably not what you want to be doing. I had to lay that back up on the marble so that I could get a better cut. And we'll trim this up a little better later. But for now, this is what we're doing. Try to stay on the line. There. So, there. Uh, we'll clean that edge up later. You can see how it goes now. Just like that. Yeah. I know it's hard for you guys to see. I'm going to move you. You don't need to see me. <laughs> But I want you to see what we're doing here. We cut this much off because this is for a larger barrel. Uh, we're stuck with the just the smaller barrel and the holes where the stitching will be uh, all line up. But we're not ready to do that part yet. We still need to uh, uh, do whatever we're gonna do. So this is what I'm gonna do. The gun is actually gonna sit uh, like this. You're going to turn this up like this. The lacing will be on the bottom. The pistol, I'm going to show you if nobody gets carried away. And it's empty. There's no bullets in it. But I line everything up. And actually go in there, something like that there, see? And you want to make sure it's going to fit before you start doing all your crazy stuff. And go in there, something like that. And then you'll have your stitching in there. But before we do the stitching, we need to make the rest of the holes and then tool. And since the gun is going to be on your side like this, I figured I would put this like this this is going to be the image i put on there so we have a long ways to go and a short time to get there but just trying to show you guys what all we're doing here so we have to have it back out flat so that we can do that other stuff but we are gaining on it and we're gonna cut this next and I hope I can do it with the scissors. If not, I will have to go tomorrow and get the right ones I need to cut the leather with. So, hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> 